Hello friends, welcome to G-Centric. So today we are going to start with the basic concepts that is our first unit. Before that in the previous lecture we have seen what is the syllabus of this network theory and also uh, understood what is the uh, you know, the allocation of different uh, year students, the time period to complete this subject. Okay, And also we have seen the importance of this subject for the gate point of view. Now in this lecture we will see what is the difference between the two terms. We will call this network theory by different names that is network analysis, circuit analysis. So you should understand what is the difference between these two words. After that we will start with our first unit that is basic concepts. Okay, So now coming to this word network, what does it mean? It is a very wide range, vast term to be used. It can be either we will call it as a Wi-Fi network, also we will call it as a network of people. But what makes it an electrical network? Okay, It is the presence of electrical elements. Now what are these electrical elements? It can either be resistors or inductors or capacitors or batteries. So when these are connected it makes it an electrical network. Okay. Now the term circuit, what does this mean? It is also has the same definition as network, the interconnection of electrical network but the only difference is that the path for this must be closed path. The path must always be be closed. Whereas for this network the path either can be closed or open. Okay, So this is the fundamental difference of the word network and circuit. The interconnection of electrical elements where the path must always be closed is defined for the circuit. Why is it important for the circuit to have a closed path? It is because when the current leaves the terminal, it has to enter into the same terminal. That is, it must have the return path to get to that terminal. Okay. Now, coming to this theory part, it has got two subtopics in it. That is, analysis and synthesis. Now, what is the difference between these two words? Only analysis we have in our gate syllabus, but not synthesis. So, analysis, you will be given an input to the circuit. So, our job is to find the output. So, this input is also called as excitation. We can call it as excitation. And for this output, we can call it as response. Okay. Anything we can call it by any of these names. So, in the output, we have to find either current through the element or voltage across the element or power of the element. So, in most of the cases, only these three quantities will be asked to calculate. So, for analysis, you will be given input and the design of the circuit, you need to calculate the output. So, that is the analysis part. Coming to the synthesis part, you will be given input and output. So, you will be given both input and output. So, we need to design circuit that is the synthesis part. Okay, You will be given either excitation or response and we will have to find the or design the circuit. So, that is the difference between analysis and synthesis. Now, after knowing this, we will move on to the basic concepts that is our first unit. Okay, So, our first topic is first unit in this syllabus is basic concepts and the subunit is SI units. Now, this SI units is, we will also call it as fundamental units. So, it acts as a very common language for the uh, in the education field as English is a common language. So, in whichever you country go, you, they will understand English. Similarly, in education field, 
the fundamental units are called as common language so that whatever quantity you define everyone will be able to understand now there are six fundamental units in the SI unit system and it was coming to existence in 1960. So this was the revised units for the SI system. In that first one is length. So our first fundamental unit is length which is measured in meter and second one is mass which is which SI unit is kilograms. Third one is time which is measured in seconds. Okay, fourth one is current that is electric current. It is measured in amperes. Okay. Then the fifth one is temperature which is measured in Kelvin. And our last SI unit is luminous intensity. which is measured in candela ok now these are all the quantities that is the six fundamental units and their symbolic representation is it is represented as small m then this kilogram is represented in kg seconds symbol is s ampere it is we will write it as a then for Kelvin that is temperature it is K and for candela it is C D. So these are the six fundamental units of the uh, six fundamental units of the international system of units. So which came into existence from 1960. So we will follow this in the educational field. Okay. So in the next lecture onwards we will start with the charges and current and we will go on with uh, voltage, EMF, power and energy. Okay. Thank you.